Hey guys, it's Lewis Fitch here. Oh my god, I haven't done a video in absolutely ages. Well, updates. We've got a fantastic new 720p um, HD camcorder. Um, I've got some other additions as well, um, which you may or may not know about. Um, my previous video, I didn't have them. Um, so that's going to be secret, that's not going to be in this video. In this video we're going to be looking at Ziggy, which is my boa constrictor, his new enclosure. So we're going to get to that in a second. Basically what I did, I got, it, I got all of the stuff from Northampton Reptile Centre. You don't have to go down and get them from their, um, from their shop. You can go online, it's fantastic, really good website. I really, really recommend them, really great. Good, decent prices as well, not too bad. So I'll put a link down below. Um, of the company who I got all of the stuff from uh, but let's get on to actually having a look at the new vivarium which I've got a really big vivarium and let's just get to it, to it. so give me a second eh? let me just spin this round and here we go okay so here we go so um, there's going to be it's a secret what's on top of this vivarium it's another new addition but we'll uh, We'll keep that a secret um, until another video, um, but um, as you can see, this is the new vivarium for the boa. Now you're probably thinking, bloody hell, that's fucking red, isn't it? Well, excuse my French. Um, yes, it is red. It's um, a four foot LED light, LED strip at the back uh, from White Python, a company called White Python. But I bought all of this, remember, from Northampton Reptile Centre. But this. Um, that's from White Python, about £40, quite expensive but uh, really decent quality and it's got a good life on it and a three year warranty as well, so you know, it's pretty good. Um, we have had this um, vivarium working, I'm just going to sit down, it's quite, it's quite low down. Um, we've had this vivarium actually fully operational and the boa has been in the vivarium for about a week now. Uh, but we didn't have any heating for him, um, so we had to. We got the bowl, but we forgot to actually order a fitment for it. So we had to order a ceramic fitment um, from Northampton Reptile Centre, and they did a little discount on it as well, um, which was quite nice of them. So yeah. So let's get onto what's actually inside the vivarium. So as you can see, we've got some bedding. Um, we're going to get a little closer. A little bit closer. Yeah, so we've got some bedding in here. Uh, it's cannabis bedding, um, so it's it's like aspen, but yeah, it's pretty much like aspen, but it's got a nice aroma to it. It doesn't smell like cannabis, but it's got a nice aroma. Um, it's hemp, basically. So it, when it's slightly heated, like it is in there, it'll give off a nice aroma, and um, it'll also cover up any smells. If, for example, the snake's just pooed or something, or weed, or shed, um, it will cover it up, so it's perfectly fine. Uh, we've got the dog bowl here, which is the water bowl, uh, which was from the boxes, which are over there, guys. There's the little boxes over there. But um, so yeah, so that's basically where that's just been first been moved. I bought this nice little just lump of wood. Uh, it was it was a large piece, six pounds. Um, just some dried, um, I think it's called coffee, coffee branch or coffee wood or something. I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know if he's going to use it, it's just aesthetics, it looks quite nice um, and that, and then we obviously come over to Ziggy, we'll leave him to the end I'll give a little update on how big he's got and stuff like that, we can probably see and you can see up here uh, is a cage, a nice white cage to hold the ceramic bulb it's a 250 watt dark spot bulb, um, heating bulb, uh, preferably used for snakes and other sorts, not lizards particularly because it is quite high wattage um, but it is on quite a low heat, so it's about 26, 27 degrees Celsius, 80 Fahrenheit, uh, which isn't too bad, and that's the hot spot, remember, so along this side it's going to be slightly colder, about 75 Fahrenheit maybe, something like that, a couple of degrees lower, um, and as you can see at the top, see those four strips of LEDs, you can see them where they join up, um, so that's very, very nice, at night it looks really awesome, and don't worry guys, if you're thinking, oh, boas like it dark, it's distracting them and everything. To be honest, boas don't really care, especially about LED lights. They don't, they don't really, not really fussed. If it was a UV light, 
they may get more stressed out about it because they like to keep in the dark but to be honest just having an LED in there doesn't really do much and it doesn't really affect them in any way um, you can see down there there's that black cable all coming all the way down there uh, that's the thermostat so you've got a thermostat in the hot end but remember the thermostat shouldn't actually be attached to the side of the vivarium you can see that the tip is on the ground but I've put a little cable um, tie there just to, just to clean it up um, and you can also see at the top there it's been cable tied from the ceramic bulb as well to keep it tidy as well um, other things, other things there's a little, um, this little plastic thing here which can be taken out um, and pop back in, Let me, I'll show you if I can get closer see this see, just a hole then you just pull it back in like that that usually goes between the two glass uh, pieces of glass um, so that it prevents you from opening it so it acts as like a little lock just for the you know just in case if the bow gets out instead I thought well he's not really really get out is he he's not absolutely massive yet and he doesn't really you know if, if I do if I do find him that he has escaped then I'll definitely put it back but I don't think that's going to be a problem so what I did is I switched it round and thought well I can just use it as a handle like that so I don't have to uh, get my hands on it and make it greasy um, another thing about this vivarium uh, dimension wise it's 1100 millimeters by 650 by 420 I think and that's millimeters remember so it basically means that it's about the same length as Godzilla's um, but the depth is is double pretty much so it's a lot wider which means when he gets bigger um, you know he's he's got plenty of room so he's, he's gonna be perfectly fine to be in here there's enough room for him uh, and yeah, so he's. I gave him a rat about three or four days ago. You can see that he's really bulged out of the back, uh, back end. So he's going to be uh, producing a nice, humongous stool soon, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, but I believe it's actually better for um, these snakes to actually poo on aspen because what happens is, I know this is a bit graphic, but obviously the poo dries due to the heat and it actually sticks to the aspen, which means it makes it really easy to clean up and you can get every little piece and um, it makes it a lot easier to clean up I think rather than being on newspaper if there's any sort of humidity the newspaper just gets entirely wet but it shouldn't be too humid in here um, it shouldn't get too humid but you can't have it too hot for a bow because they will become they'll dry out and they'll, they'll need more water I do need to top up his water bowl it's quite low but um, yeah if I do see that he's coming over here quite a lot and he needs a lot of water I will turn the degrees down and it'll make it less humid um, over time so yeah so I thought I'd just do a video uh, one last thing uh, you may be able to see down there that there's some little ridges um, which offer ventilation so you're probably wondering hang on Lou where's the uh, ventilation at the back there's no holes or anything uh, the actual sliders here have little gaps in them every now and then uh, all along here so there's ventilation which is constantly going through so you know it's a really good design uh, all together guys are you ready for this everything the uh, the hemp wood um, the bulb um, cage lights thermostat all that come to about 250 pounds now to be honest for all of that for brand new um, I don't think that is that bad to be honest I mean the actual vivarium was 130 pounds which I thought was really really good I thought for the size it is it's good it came flat pack so you can build it up yourself which is another good thing so because I was wondering oh my god I've got to get it up my stairs but then I thought well it's flat pack fantastic so yeah I think it's really really good it matches uh, Godzilla's um, colour um, Vivarium as well it's beech wood I think it's called um, so yeah I just thought I'd do a video on this guys uh, let me just uh, get up and I'll swivel it round Ooh. so yeah so Thank you very much for watching guys, just going to flip this around, there we go, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, um, oh, I don't know when I'm going to be making another video, uh, but I've got to just find some, um, I've got to find some editing software to actually edit this video uh, as well, so I'm not too sure when it's going to be on, uh, but it is coming up to the end of May now, 2014, 
I thought I'd do a video. As I say, I haven't done one in about four or five months. So if any of you still subscribed and you're still following, thank you very much, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy this new video, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.